my friends, it's me, Karen Valentine, and we are back to do this beautiful image by Christine Karen. Um, this is called When Sunflowers Bloom. I messed up on the name on the last video and I double checked and realized, oh, I didn't get that right. So it is called When Sunflowers Bloom and I will have a link to her Etsy shop in the description box underneath. Um, I am using my uh, Nina Desert Storm paper. And um, there's also a link to that in the description box below. And I've been using it for a little while now. And I am in love with the way that it does skin tones. So we're going to go back to Prismacolors for her skin because um, A, it's what I'm comfortable with. But B, it's also what I love to use for skin tones. Um, they're just so smooth and creamy and blendable for um, for the skin, and so they're kind of my go-to um, pencils. And yay, I have a new color combo to um, show you for the skin. It works really well on this paper. Um, I, I needed to find a color combo that um, didn't show up quite so light, I guess. Um, this paper really brightens any light colors, and so um, I wanted to find something a little different. So this, I think, is going to work out really nicely. So we're going to start with um, white in our um, highlighted areas. And again, I just love being able to see where those highlights are going. Um, it's really, really nice. And I'm not pressing hard at all. Um, I'm using a light pressure. I'm not doing this part yet, but since I'm here, I'm just going to add the, add the white over here. I don't know why, just because. Okay, is that everywhere where I want to put white? Let's go ahead and just because, just because, we'll do the whites of our eyes. And I think a little bit right there. Oh, yes. Um, let's do above her lip. And a little bit right there. Um, is that all I want to do? I think so. Okay, next we'll use chestnut. And I guess I'll zoom in a little bit. I don't want to zoom in too much because you guys know I have a terrible habit of going out of frame.
Really light pressure is all you need. This paper takes, um, takes the pencil really nicely. Now, <clears throat> depending on what paper you're using, you know, you may have to adjust your pressure according to the, the different papers. But generally, on skin, I think lighter is always better. You can always just keep adding layers, and it always seems to look better when it's layers built up as opposed to a heavy layers. Oh, I missed a little spot here where I want to put some, put a little bit of white right. I've already decided that I want to add a lot more depth into the hair um, using some darker colors. Maybe espresso, maybe black, I'm not sure, but it definitely needs a bit more depth. And I, I think that that is because I um, printed it in sepia. And so the, the built-in black from the lines um, is not there, and so I need to add that back in. I think I want to go ahead and add some little bit of contour under her cheek. Okay, let's go to Sienna Brown. And we're going to put a bunch of different layers on here and just keep building and building the color. I'm going to kind of go over some of that white highlight with the Sienna Brown just lightly, just to kind of try and smooth that transition between the light and the dark a little bit.
don't know if you can see how far back I'm holding my um, pencil, but I'm holding it pretty far back and that really helps to um, keep the pressure on the page very, very light because you really can't press hard when you're holding it back this far. There's something on my paper right there. I could feel it when I went over it with the uh, pencil. I'm not sure what that is. Um, hmm. Well, we'll just keep going and hope it doesn't cause too many problems. Okay, now we're going to use peach. Normally, I've been typically using light peach, but for this one, we're gonna use peach. And after I add all the rest of the colors on top, it produces a really, really pretty skin tone. So now I'm, I'm using a little bit more pressure than I was using on the previous two layers, but still not anything that I would call, you know, heavy. I, would, I guess I would call what I'm doing now kind of a medium pressure because we still have a lot of layers to go. going to go over the white, but not completely over the white. I've already gotten some feedbacks from some of my um, coloring friends who've tried this paper. And I'm happy to say that they really, really like it. Um, so that's good news. It's always just a little nerve wracking, I guess, in the beginning when you recommend something to people and you hope that they like it. And so far, I haven't heard anybody that said they didn't like it. So that's a good thing.
Okay. Now we are going to add, what are we going to add now? Beige. So now we're going to add beige and I'll use about the same pressure that I used for the peach. That one nice and fast. Okay, I think we're going to do a little bit more um, chestnut and sienna brown. We're just kind of sandwiching all of these colors together. And every time I add a light color, it does kind of cover up a little bit the um, the darker colors so for me it seems to just work to do it this way just everything all gets layered and sandwiched together we're gonna blend this out twice we're gonna blend it out once using a color and then I'm gonna blend it out in the end with a with my blender Sienna Brown again. I think that's enough of that. Okay, now we're going to use burnt ochre all over the whole thing, um, except for the highlights. And this I am using a very light pressure, just kind of like I did with the, the first couple of layers.
think that was the probably to learn to not be too heavy-handed was probably the pivotal point for me in my coloring and in seeing them um, the colorings improve especially on the skin tones um, once I learned to apply less pressure with my pencil and do more light layers it all came together and my my portraits started to improve quite a lot so that would probably be my my biggest um, tip I guess you could call it in um, to a young colorist or a new colorist looking to improve is be care watch your pressure because that will make a big big difference okay this is henna and this is going to be kind of just for her cheeks we're going to do this and nectar Again, really light pressure and just build up the layers and nectar. We're going to blend with eggshell. And this is going to go all over, including the everywhere where we had white. You can just go right over everything with this. Use kind of a medium to firm pressure. It's not our last layer, so we don't want to burnish. Um, but we do want to kind of use this pencil to smoosh the colors that we have down together. Again, we're going to go over it once more with the blender pencil, and you will just watch the skin just turn to the most smooth, buttery, it's really nice, really lovely. It's fun to watch it improve, to watch the skin tone improve with each layer. It gets better and better looking. That's one of the parts I love about doing portraits is just watching them come alive, come together. And it's like, oh, that looks better and better every with every layer. see how much lower I'm holding my pencil now than I was before in some of those light layers. Okay. 
thinking I might want to put some black grape in, but first I think I'll do some espresso. That's just going to go in the darkest shadowy areas. I feel like that's too heavy, so I'm just, hmm, which one do I want to use? Let's see, Sienna Brown, maybe, it felt too bright. Sometimes I get carried away with that flick of the pencil. I think I want some more burnt ochre. Lightly. I'm going to try a little bit of black grape. 
I'm not sure how much I'm gonna use it though, I don't know. I think the espresso did the job, but maybe not. I also think that the top of her eyelid is too bright, so I'm going to put some burnt ochre there. There we go. It's a little better. Okay, I think I'm... I think I'm good with the black grape. Excuse me. You know what? Let's put a little bit under her nose. I guess a little bit right in here. Okay. I'm going to blend with the blender. And even though I'm pr putting a pretty good amount of pressure on here to blend this all together, we're still going to be able to get a little bit more pencil on here when we're finished. All right, now we're gonna add a little bit more, not more, we're gonna add some, do I want jasmine? Or do I want sa um, sand? I think we'll do sand. And we're going to put that to kind of give it's gonna, what it's gonna do is it's gonna take away the super peachy color and it's also going to, ref, do, to be doing some reflection of the light onto her skin.
is that area where I went a little bit crazy with my with my pencil right here. So I'm just going to see if I can't blend that away. That's better. Wondering if I take some white. Take some grayed lavender. I need to just take a second and see what she needs because I feel like she's looking a little bit too um, pinky red and I'm not sure why it so I'm just gonna take a second and make some plan and I will be back shortly okay part of me thinks that it's just that I haven't got the rest of the page done um, and that it will look better um, once I do that. Sometimes it's the color of the background paper that affects what you're thinking. Part of me also thinks I need more eggshell and I also think I'm gonna add some more um, goldeny colors um, to her skin as well when we get to that point. So. I think I'm going to, I'm just adding a little bit more eggshell. And then I think we'll do her eyes and her lips. And I'll figure out what to do after that. Because a picture's not done until it's done. So I don't want to make a judgment on what I've done yet. So let's do her eyes. So I'm going to put some, let's see, what color do I want to do her eyes? Do I want to use kelp green? I think I do. So I'm going to do kelp green. I don't know, is that bright enough? My other option that I have out is Prussian green. Maybe we'll start there. A little bit of kelp. And let's see, I need
Chris, uh, my polychromos black on her eyes. little bit more shading right there. Okay. I don't have my Posca pen in front of me. I'm also not zoomed in very far, so it's better. Okay, I want to do her lips. And then I'll work on the eyes some more. So, white. Permanent red. somewhere. Yep. Just it, <laughs> it never ceases to amaze me. Every time I think, oh, I'm not gonna like this and it's not turning out right, I do a little bit more of the face, do the lips, the eyes, and all of a sudden everything starts to come together. Okay, let me do some, I think we'll try, let's see, burnt ochre. I'm gonna do her eyebrows. Um, I think I'll put some burnt ochre on here. And then a little 
little bit of espresso. a little bit of some gray just right in here and maybe a teensy bit of nectar and I'm gonna take my espresso Just kind of softening that that uh, line right there. There. And I don't know if this is going to work. I probably need my Posca pen. I'll just put a little bit of white right there. It looks like it still needs a little bit of black though, right? Oh, now I definitely need the Posca pen. Just for that, that little bit more bright brightness right there, I think. Zoom out. I think she looks pretty good. I definitely still do want to do some depth there in her hair. Um, so I'm going to turn the camera off and check the time. And depending on what time, how much time we've spent already. I might just come back and work on her hair a little bit more. And then we'll move on the next video onto the flowers. And I have plans for the um, background. Um, yeah, I think it'll be, it's coming along really nice. I'm happy. So, all right, let me, just give me a minute. I'm gonna check time and then I'll either be back to say goodbye or I'll be back and we'll work on the hair just a teensy little bit more. Okay, I think we have some time to work on the hair a little bit more. So that's what we're gonna do. So I think I'm going to pull out, both were polychromos, so I'm gonna pull out the, um, Burnt Umber and the Black in the Polys. And I'll... St Part of me thinks that it really just needs black, so I think I'll start there. And um, let's zoom in just a little bit. So yeah, one of the things I think is the reason that this is bugging me is that there's just not enough dark. So I'm going to just add it into some of these areas where it makes sense to me.
it's starting to look better already, just that little bit. I kind of feel like I should stay away from out here because that's where we're going to be laying down our glow. So I think that's what I'll do. I can always add it in the end if, if I look at it and think, oh yeah, it definitely needs more. Sure, I want to handle this right here. I also kind of think that maybe there would be some shadow on her skin from this hair here, so I might come in and try and do that. I wasn't framed for that. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. And let's get some dark over here. I remember right I think I left that a little bit last time because I wanted her to uh, I wanted to do the shadows after I finished the sunflowers I think that was where we left that maybe I'll switch to 
the um, burnt umber for this outside area so it's not quite as dark as the black but still gets me some depth I think I'm pretty happy with that. Let's um, consider adding, and maybe I should not do this until after I get the glow going, but I'm kind of curious to see what happens if I add a little bit of this Naples yellow. And I really liked the way her hair looks down here where I actually added the, um, the white underneath the cream. I'm not sure if I can fix that now or not. But Prisma White just kind of See, we've got this hair that kind of looks like it's blending right into the skin. We don't want that, so. Mm, sanguine, we'll try sanguine. I think that's what we. Caput mortem. That works. Made it a little bit more pronounced. All right. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Yes, I like her. Pretty happy can't wait to do the flowers and show you the background that I have planned for this. Um, it's going to be all good. I think, oh, didn't I talk about doing a little bit of shading under here? Should I use espresso for that? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to just use some espresso as a shadow. Yeah, I think that's okay. All right, guys, I think uh, part two is done. So I am um, kind of into my coloring, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep filming. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and film part three, so um, hopefully we'll be able to get these up um, 
in a fairly timely manner. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed yourself. As always, I did. And um, that'll be that. I will see you guys um, shortly for part three. So take care of yourselves and each other. And just know that I appreciate you all um, so, so very much. Thank you for subscribing and um, being supportive. It is, it means the world to me. So thank you so much. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye. Thank you.